What's the latest? Well, the latest is today is the big day where we're going to get the speech, at least the opening address from Xi Jinping. And we hear as well that the guest of honor, Vladimir Putin, has been invited to give a speech as well. We'll have to see what those two gentlemen have to say over at the Great Hall of the People. Earlier this morning here at the National Convention Center up at the Olympic Green, where we are now and where the CEO conference was held yesterday, we had all the buses head off to the Great Hall of the People uh, adjacent to uh, Tiananmen Square where the main celebrations and uh, speeches will be had. As you can see here, uh, Xi and Putin have met up and they will both be having sort of bilaterals later today. We're hearing Vladimir Putin will also uh, be having meetings with the leaders of Thailand, Laos, Mongolia, Vietnam, and perhaps some others as he is kind of... Uh, the, the center guest of this Belt and Road Initiative, given uh, the, the status that he has uh, as a sort of wanted war criminal by the uh, International Criminal Court. So we'll have to see uh, what and if these two gentlemen double down on that No Limits partnership that they struck, uh, what was it, in February of 2022, just before, weeks before uh, Vladimir Putin launched his war in Ukraine. Now, on the Belt and Road Initiative, Yes, they are touting it as another golden decade ahead, uh, but the reality is the average deals after we've come through the pandemic has dwindled. Uh, one estimate put it, the average deal in a Belt and Road investment is about 48% what it was at the peak in 2018. Yes, at the CEO conference, there were a number of delegates here, about 300 delegates. There were a number of deals uh, in AI, in agriculture, in transportation, in clean energy, in bio pharma in financial services but guess what no dollar figure was given to the number of deals and the the kind of deals that were um, signed both yesterday and there's going to be more deals signed today so again we don't really have the data to say that the belt and road is entering into another golden era as xi jinping says but it is his signature project so he's going to make it succeed however he can it might be smaller and greener but it will be going forward